welcome everyone to the Knock Knock Artist video. Today, I will be teaching you guys how to draw Lil Petty from Dogman. I personally like that character because it believes in what it believes and like trusts its own self. Now, the supplies you'll need are simple. A piece of white paper, a pencil, a permanent marker to trace it or something black to trace your picture and something to color it. Today I'll be using markers. You can use crayons or even color pencils. Now let's get started. First grab your pencil. We're gonna draw Lily Petty's nose. Start here and draw a little oval. Then in the oval, draw a small oval. Now, we'll color them up with the permanent marker. Now, draw a line down. You can kind of thicken it. And then draw two dots, like that. Now, use the dots as like guide points and draw a smile. Try to connect them if you can't just um, make the nose line longer. And then thick in out this line like that. And we're finished with her mouth, he, her, his mouth and nose. Now let's draw the eyes. We'll be drawing one line like that. That's a little curvy and one line took down. And then we just leave it like that because we're going to thicken it out again with the permanent marker. Now let's draw its face. Start from above the nose and draw a curve down and then draw it up like that. So we'll this is its cheeks. And then we start here. It'll look like a bump. And then draw and connect. And you're finished with its head. Draw its eyebrows. Then it might look weird with eyes like that, but when you thicken them out with something black, it'll look much better. And then let's draw the ears. There'll be two triangles like that. And then we'll draw its freckles. One freckle, two freckles, and three freckles. And then the whiskers, three whiskers as well. And you might wanna not draw that big. And then we'll move on to its body. Its body looks like a um, squarish U. You start from here, you go down like that and kind of curve in. And then you draw it like that, curving down. Of course, you, you can use your eraser and make it even chubbier like that and then we'll add the detail of its body we'll draw lines that are curving on its body just like that like that after that let's draw its hands its hands are gonna start here and curve like that. Do a small curve and go back. But if your body is big like mine, you can draw it like this and then draw it bigger. Now it's his hands don't have to be identical cause when you hold your hand out like 
some sometimes they aren't identical. Then we'll add the details. Same thing. It'll have stripes on its hands. And then its feet. Draw a J and a J. Then you go like you draw an L shape. Then you connect them with a curve, like that. And then you draw stripes as well. And then last of all is, is its tail. What you draw from here, a wavy line, another wavy line, but then you connect them with the curve. And we're done with our funny little PD. Now let's trace. The way you trace is easy. Now let's get started. First, let's trace its head. Start here and trace. Now let's stick in out the eyes, because they are looking creepy to me. And look, they look much cuter already. And the nose, you've got to be careful not to color the white part. And the freckles. A whiskers. And a cute mouth. And of course, don't forget the eye, the brows, and its ears. Like that. And we're done with the face. Now let's draw its body. Curve down. Then curve this way. For its hands, curve and a curve, curve down and back up, curve down and back up. And remember to draw the stripes, draw them lightly so when you draw they won't, the color won't spread and it'll look like it has a black arm. And let's draw the stripes for the body. are the same. A J, a J, and then an L shape down and curve back up. L shape down and curve back up. And then lightly do the stripes so they won't spread. And then the tail. And remember to add stripes on your little PE's tail as well. And you're done tracing. Now I'll be fast forwarding coloring. I hope you'll follow along. You remember you can pause, replay, or skip that part if you, if you have your own idea. guys I have finished coloring my little pity as you can see I used these colors um, um yellow and orange just normal colors you can get I did something special with them though I first used um yellow and if you noticed I colored um the outside first to let it dry faster and then I started coloring the middle after that I used orange to do a little bit of like shading. So that's why I colored the outside first so then it would dry and it wouldn't damage the marker. Now, 
I hope you liked this video. Remember to watch the other ones. Please subscribe and leave a like on this video. I hope you enjoy all my videos. Bye!